The last in line in hand rankings is what's known as high card. Look at this hand right here that I've laid out. Well, you'll notice that there's no connectivity. It's definitely not a royal flush or a straight flush. None of the cards are connected. It's not a straight. It's not like three, four, five, six, seven. They're all different suits. It's not a flush. We have no pairs. Nothing is connected. But this hand still has a value. It's called high card ace because the highest card in the five card hand is an ace. Now most of the time you don't want to be stuck with this hand. But let's look at fixed limit Texas Hold'em. In this scenario, let's say that your starting hand was ace jack. And you bet that kind of strong because you were in late position. And you see the flop. Nothing's going on here. You and your opponent both make a bet. You stay in. This next card comes. We still don't have any connectivity on this board. You know, there may be a straight draw now with the 10 and the 8, or maybe there's a straight draw between the 8 and the 5. Maybe, maybe your opponent has 6, 7. And now there's a flush draw. But still, you've got no connectivity. And you think with your two higher cards to the board, maybe your ace high is good. So there's a bet and you call. Then there's the last card. It's a nine. Well, that puts a possible straight out there. But since it's fixed limit Texas Hold'em, if you check and your opponent bets, well, guess what? You're getting like 12 to 1 odds to call your bet, call his bet. Might as well do it. It only costs you one more bet, and your high card ace just might be the best hand.